In today's video, what I wanted to do is run you through a warm up that you can do for every single one of my workouts and all your workouts, whether it's full body, upper body, lower body. Um, this warm up is going to cover everything. And I think it's good even if you're just doing an upper body like push session to do everything because you're just getting in some more mobility for your lower body. So I would just recommend just sticking with this warm up throughout the entire routine. It makes it easy to remember what you're doing. It's a great warm up. You're getting in great movements that are going to help mobilize yourself and get yourself ready, minimize injury, and make sure you're ready to lift some big weights. So first things first for the warm up, we want to start with just one to three minutes of cardio. So on this example, I'm here on a rowing machine. I'd say this is probably up there with the best kind of cardio you can do because on the rowing machine, you're going to be working your upper body and your lower body simultaneously. So you're just getting everything warm. Sorry if you can't hear me over the machine, but essentially just getting everything warm for one to three minutes rowing on that machine. So that's the rowing. All right, next we're going to do a banded warm up that warms up your shoulders and we're going to do seven reps in each position. Okay. So it starts with just overhand band pull aparts, seven reps, nice and controlled. Really trying to feel it in your back, in your scapula, trying to get them to contract. Bring your hands in as much as you can to make it challenging, keeping your arms straight. So you do it seven times there, seven times at an angle up like this, seven times at the opposite angle, seven times under hand grip, down low, getting those external rotators, trying to keep your elbows in tight. Going like that, and you're gonna do seven times up above your head and extending out like this. Then you're gonna do seven band pullovers, keeping your arms straight, core engaged, don't let your back arch. Make sure you're just opening it up. So seven times for that. Should be opening up your chest, warming up your shoulders. Shoulders get little niggles all the time, so it's important they're warmed up thoroughly. And that's the banded sevens. Then we move on to some glute activation. Most people with pectus have anterior pelvic tilt. One of the reasons for this is inactive or weak glutes. So we want to strengthen them in general because the anterior pelvic tilt's accentuating like your pot belly and your rib flare appearance. So it's definitely something you want to be strengthening. Most people don't have very active glutes. I certainly don't. So it's good to just activate them every day and, and in the warm up, even if we're not training our legs. So, so for this, we're going to do 10 reps of each movement. So it starts with the crab walk, driving the knees out against this booty band. That's going to be activating the glutes. Think about the glutes the whole time, mind to muscle connection. You're just going to do wide steps, keeping the knees out, really trying to engage your glutes. So you go 10 reps one way, 10 reps back the other. You should feel this in your glutes. If, if you're just walking like this, it's, it's pointless. You've got to really keep driving those knees out. So that's that. Then we're going to get onto the floor and we're going to do 10 hip thrusts. Again, knees drive out, come up, squeeze your glutes. Try and keep your pelvis posterior tilted. So you're really engaging your glutes. Think about that. Glutes being squeezed, knees out, tilting your pelvis forwards towards yourself. 10 reps there. Then you're going to do it on a single leg. Ten reps there. Swap sides. Ten reps there. Then we're going to do ten reps in the bird dog with the band still on. So you're going left hand forward, right leg back, just like that, keeping your core switched on to stabilize yourself. Trying to feel it in your glutes as you kick that back leg up. 10 reps there. So you're going to stand up and do 10 air squats with the band. Again, same principle applies. We drive our knees out. That engages the glutes and then come down full depth squat. Try and feel it in your glutes. Slow it down. Drive those knees out. 10 reps there. All right, now we're going to go into a down to up dog, okay? So a down dog, we go on our hands like this, and we're gonna push our bum up, really try and open up our chest. And then from here, you just hold that position for a second, then you're gonna cycle through into an up dog. And back down. And just do this 10 times. Should feel it in your chest, your shoulders opening up, your hamstrings in the down dog. 
just like that. And we're gonna do some prone lying twists. This will help just open up your chest a bit and your back, just twisting over 10 times. Really trying to get that rotation. Now we're gonna do five inchworms with a push up. So an inchworm, we're standing, we come down with our hands, we walk out, we do a push up, we walk back. Now some of these may be a little hard, so do your best. If the inchworm with the push ups too advanced for where you're at right now, do the push up on your knees. Um, you can always modify these things to make them a little bit easier. Then we're gonna do five each side of the world's greatest stretch. So we're coming into this position. From here, we're gonna lean up like this, keeping our glute engaged, knee drive out. Squeeze your glutes, keep your knee off the ground. Should feel it opening up the hip flexor. Again, very important we loosen that up. And we're gonna come through as far through as you can. Keeping the same position with your hip and your knee. So even if you just wanna try to get your elbow to the floor and back, but we really wanna rotate through our torso. We're gonna do five reps on each side there. So you do five on that side, then you'll swap to the other. Do the same thing. Making sure your glutes stay engaged. Should feel that opening up. It's gonna open up your thoracic, open up your hips. Really important we open them up for pectus posture in general. And then lastly, we're just gonna finish with 10 paddle off press facing each way. This is gonna engage your core and your obliques. Good to get that warmed up before you train. It's also gonna get your inner chest muscle fibers going a bit. So if you've got a push day, it's good to get them activated beforehand. So you just do 10 reps that way. Again, slowing it down, really getting a mind to muscle connection. And then 10 reps the other way. Keeping that band across your midline. That's what activates your inner chest. You should feel it there. And that's the warm up guys. Then just do remember when you're doing your exercises, do some light warm up sets, especially on the compound movements. For example, if I'm doing deadlifts, say I'm doing five reps, it'll be about 200 kilos for me. So I need to do incremental weight to get there. I don't just jump to straight to 200. So especially on compound heavier lifts, you really need light warm-up sets. But even bench press, don't just go straight there. Work your way up, okay? Things like a lateral raise where you're doing five kilos or whatever, you don't really need to. So it's more compound movements, but just be aware of that. Always do a warm-up set just to feel out that exercise. Make sure you're feeling good. There's no niggles and you're at the appropriate weight. So yeah, guys, that's the warm-up. You can do it for every single workout. It's gonna be really beneficial. It's gonna loosen tight muscles, which are contributing to the pectus posture, making your condition look worse. It's gonna get you warm and ready for a good training session, injury-proof yourself. Um, so enjoy, implement it into your training. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe for future videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.